I want to continue growing, testing my mental, <laughs> mental and physical. <laughs> New word. I just want to keep pushing my mental. <laughs> There's a lot of skiers out there who just throw their tricks like, all right, I'm just gonna go for it and we'll see how it goes. I'll figure it out as I go. Take 10 or 20 hard hits and then it'll kind of start to click. Hucked as we call it. I'm definitely more the type of athlete that really thinks about it, visualize every part of that rotation at rail grind. If I can see it in my head, then I believe that I can do it on snow. Last year at X Games, I was the last competitor of the event and I was in third place. And you know, all eyes on me. I went up there and I didn't even really tell anybody and I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna go for the switch 10. What do I have to lose? Switch is backwards and the 1080 is three full rotations. Flowing through the course, going into the money booter, which is what they call the last jump. Go for the 10, landed it, almost couldn't even believe it. I was the first female skier to ever land the Switch 1080. Everyone's coming up and hugging me. Probably one of the best events of my life. I ended up repeating and winning the gold medal again. Man, I totally lost my flow. Damn. I hope I get it back. <laughs> For as long as I can remember, I've always chased the thrill. I was the kid who you know, instead of sliding down the slide at the park, I'd yell, Mom, watch me, and I'd jump off the top. When I was nine or 10, I started, you know, aggressive inline rollerblading in the skate park and doing rails and ledges on the streets. And then when I was 17, I put on a pair of skis and just totally fell in love. What I love about slope style skiing is the fact that I can really, you know, be creative on the course. The features are different at every event. Different rail features, different jumps, size, takeoffs, so you can do whatever you want to do. For me, a good trick is just something that flows really, really well and looks good and looks effortless. I've been through pretty intense injuries. Torn my pancreas in half, torn both my ACLs. So I learned quickly that I needed to take care of my body. I train about five or six days a week. What I really put emphasis on is, you know, the explosiveness, quick feet, ladder work, skipping, because sometimes you have to react like a cat and you have to be able to land on your feet. It was definitely a mind game coming back into the sport, a sport that had really tore me apart. It was a lot of mental work and really just trusting in my body and, and everything, like the thousands and thousands of hours I've put into what I do. And um, I think that's what gives me my confidence. Morning of a big event like X Games, it's a pretty stressful time for me. We're all sledding up, waiting at the top. You kind of look around and you watch everyone. They're kind of pacing back and forth or ranting to themselves. I try to kind of just tune out. I don't like to watch other people's runs. 10 or 15 minutes before I'm dropping in for another run, I'm not gonna learn a new trick in my head. So there's really no point in stressing out over what others are doing. I'm clipping in my boots, feeling everyone's energy, all of my energy, and just putting it all together, all these little pieces that I've worked so hard on. Instead of freaking out about what might happen or what has happened in the past, just inviting the opportunity to to shine. I just want to. <clears throat> I just want to keep pushing my mental. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need a break. <laughs>